to it. Today I'll be teaching you guys how I personally plan with my iPad digitally, but also how you can also access it on your phone. So if you don't have an iPad, you can do it on your phone or your MacBook. We'll be going through all three of the ways, but basically this is just how I set myself up to be productive each day, month, week, and I actually created a free digital planner for you guys. It'll be on my website free for you guys to download after you finish this video. There will be a password to enter the website and that will be at the end of this video. But yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right on into this. So to start, you're going to need the app GoodNotes. I believe it's actually free now. There's a free version where I think you can download up to three um, like book notebooks total without having to pay. So not sure if that's exactly correct. I bought it like three or four years ago by now. So it doesn't show me like the details or anything, but you can download it. I think it's either like somewhere between eight to $12, if not, if you would like to purchase it, to be able to access more of the journals. But personally, if you're only gonna use the free planner that I have, you might be able to get away with the free version. Yeah, that's just an app you're going to download on the App Store. Also, just a side note, I did want to mention that I made this whole planner and all these resources for free for you. It took a lot of time and energy on my end, so if you would like to, it would help me out a lot if you subscribed or at least liked this video in exchange for the free planner. It would help me out to be able to help me to continue to create all these fun free resources for you guys. Thank you guys for supporting me. So first I'm going to show you guys how to download it and set it up on each device. So I'm going to put the timestamps here per device if you guys want to see a specific one or skip over some of the other ones. And then you can skip to this timestamp to actually get into like the how to use the digital planner and it won't matter which device you're on. So yeah, we're going to get started with the iPhone. All right, so here is my phone. Go ahead to the App Store and look up Good Notes, and then here it is. Good Notes Five is the app that you're gonna want. Then what you're gonna do next is you're gonna go to Safari or Google, whatever browser you use. You're gonna go to www.juliakchris.com, which is my website. It's gonna load up for you guys. Um, you're gonna go to the menu right here and click on Design Freebies, and then it'll show you everything. You're gonna scroll all the way down until you find digital planner. Click on that. Um, it's just gonna say yay, but you're gonna just click the button and then you'll have to enter your password, which you'll see at the end of the video. Once you've got it, it'll take you to the screen again and you'll click this free planner button, which will open it up and this is where you will download it. So you'll click this like share button down here. Once you hit that button, you can actually scroll all the way here and click more and then you'll search down here until you find good notes. So there it is. Import to GoodNotes. I'm going to import it as a new document. Import to documents. And then there we have it. Our digital planner. So cute. I love it. Okay, and then skip to this point right here to get to the tutorial overall about how to use it. All right, here we have our iPad. You're going to turn it on. Make sure you have downloaded the GoodNotes 5 app, your app store. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to Safari and go to www.juliakchris.com and then once you're there you're going to go up to the top and click design freebie freebies um, and then what you'll do is find digital planner and then here is where you'll click this to get to the password which will be at the end of this video so keep watching to get there but you'll type it in and then once you're there again you'll click free planner and then there it is what you'll do from here is go up to this button at the top, the share, and go search until you find your GoodNotes app up here. You might have to click more. There it is. Import it. And you're going to click import as a new document and import to documents. And then there you have it. You are ready to start planning, but skip to this point in the video to get to how to actually use it. We're going to go to MacBook now. Lastly, we have our MacBook and I'm going to show you all how you can do it on here. So we are actually going to go to our app store and we're going to look up Good Notes 5 and we're going to download that. While this is downloading, we're going to download the planner itself. So you're going to go to juliakchrist.com and you will click the tabs to go to design freebies. You will scroll, scroll, scroll until you find digital planner. You're gonna click on that. And then you will click free planner here. There will be a password which will be at the end of this video. So keep watching to find the password, but this is where you'll enter it. And then finally you will click free planner to get to the file. 
Then you will click this download button and just you can save it to your desktop, whatever you'd like. And now we have that downloaded. It's up here. And <laughs> now we're going to open up our GoodNotes app that we have just downloaded. We are going to click new, import, and then you're going to go and find that file and you'll click open. And now we have it. So now we're going to get into how to use your digital planner and I'm actually going to switch over to my iPad for this. Um, yeah. All right, so now we're going to go over how to use your digital planner. I have my iPad with an Apple Pencil, but it's not necessary to have the Apple Pencil. Um, but here's our intro. This whole slide is all about me. If you ever get lost or confused, you can also click this button right down here and it'll take you back to this video that you're watching um, with a tutorial. You can also access my website, my YouTube, all the other good things on that slide. Here we have our index. So this will take us around to all the different months. So one of the most important things that you will learn in this video is that in order to be able to make links clickable, you have to click this little pencil off button. Okay, and then that is how if you click to navigate something, you will be able to do it. And this also works for all of our months down the side here. So if we want to go back to March or to September, that is what you'll have to do because if you have it on in the pencils and you try to do it, it doesn't work. It'll just draw on it. So you have to have this toggled off to be able to move around. But when you do want to draw, you'll turn it on. All right, so up here in our toolbar, we have the pen, eraser, highlighter. So we'll go through those first. The pen, you could have three different like consistencies, I guess. So there you go, I guess sizes. <laughs> and then you can also change the colors by choosing right here. And you come with a bunch, but you can also make custom colors. And this hex code right here D8A694 is the same color as this background here. So if you would like everything to be cohesive and work nice when you write it in there, um, I would add that to your thing. Type that in there and then you'll click add to presets so then it will be down there in your little toolbar. Um, a way to get cute little hex codes is to go to your Safari and just look up like aesthetic hex codes <laughs> and then I usually just look through the images and look at some you just find a palette and then you again look at the little stranded numbers and you'll memorize one then you go and you just type it in there and then that's how you can add a bunch of like pretty colors down here but the one I would recommend for sure is that one that I had mentioned because it's the same color as the theme of the journal so it would match everything which would be really cute. All right, then we have our highlighter which you can also have some pretty colors for as well but this basically you will draw and it just like puts the highlighter behind the text that you have written. It's very satisfying and pretty once you get the hang of it and use it often. Um, this tool it's like a lasso so Let's say I was wrong and St. Patrick's Day isn't the 17th. I can circle it and move it to the 18th, but I'm pretty sure it's that day. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just an easy way to move things. You can add text to something. I have a text box, and since I have my Apple Pencil, it will let me like write whatever. So I can write Zoom call. And then that is my little text. Or down here at the bottom, I can click to open up the keyboard and type whatever text I want in there. But I honestly prefer handwriting things, it's very cute and fun. But if you don't have the Apple Pencil, obviously you will use the text thing a lot. Okay, so we have our monthly spread, you have like some area down here for goals, and we are going to click this right here, and this opens up like a little text thing where we can drag it to wherever we want. And you can write down here whatever your goals are. Maybe four. Bed. And then, yeah, that's a little cute spot for your goals though. And then, if you keep swiping, we have the weekly spread done here. So you can plan. Today is Tuesday. If you are a dates person, you can write the dates here. I left some room. So here, Wednesday, we'll write digital planner launch. Yay! 
And yeah, basically just end up writing to-do lists on here, literally anything you want, up to you. And then it has each month of the year as well where you can write in things that are happening. So it's really just a blank canvas for you guys to do whatever you would like with. And yeah, of course it's free. And then I also wanted to show you guys some of my other products. So I will have two other things for sale on my Etsy. If you guys would like to purchase these, they'll be on there for not too pricey, probably somewhere between like three to six dollars um, for a simple little thing. This one is a meal planner. I do this each week when I'm planning out my meals and then I'm also ordering and making my grocery list on the side on my phone whenever I am making my grocery lists and stuff. So it's just this meal planner. You just like swipe and it creates a new week and you can write for the week of 27th through March. And then you go in and I like to do like a lunch and a dinner, lunch, dinner, lunch, dinner. And this is just another planner that I really use all the time to plan my life. So it's just really helpful for me. Uh, and then I go in and write in like grilled cheese and hibachi. And as I'm writing down each thing, I will make a list just on like my notes and my phone of the groceries that I need. And I make that with like the, like where you could check it off, so like a circle. Um, so as I'm going through the grocery store, I can just check it off. Or I'll do like an online Walmart order. And it just helps me like make sure I have the ingredients and we'll get the ones I need. And I'll fill it out for the whole week. There's also a spot down here for grocery lists if you'd like to write it in here as you go. And then you can also pull this up on your phone if you connect it all with iCloud and it'll show you your grocery list down there as well. But yeah, that's it. And you just keep swiping and it creates endless pages of that. And it's just really cute, adorable. And then the other one is my just a cute little simple to-do list. It kind of has the same color scheme and vibe as the digital planner. So it says to-do. And then it's just like this gridded paper pretty to-do list. So. Uh, I didn't make like a title because I wanted you to be able to write anything you want because sometimes I'm not making to-do lists all the time I'll write like grocery list or literally anything and the days always change like I didn't want to limit it just to Your days like for example, I'll write like that's really bad But yeah, I make to-do lists for like the randomest thing. So I didn't want to like put a title to Put you in a box. I guess so that's why it's just like an empty screen but you can get creative with it and let's say we write like who's and then we can get the highlighter and highlight a big old circle behind it this is where it's about to be so satisfying so watch and it goes behind it I just love that <laughs> and then you can make your to-do list and just keep going and going and going um, and endless pages for whatever you need. I just think it's so cute. Again, these two that I just showed you will be on my Etsy for sale if you'd like. Those are just the absolute basics of digital planning. There's so much more like adding in stickers and all these other things that I didn't show you in this video. But just know there's so much you can do and just get creative with it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to help me out and check out the other digital products that I'm gonna be selling on my Etsy. It should be up now as well. The password for the planner on my website, which is juliakchris.com, is yay2023, no spaces, all caps. So go enjoy that free planner. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.